And welcome everybody to the very first episode of Ring of Honor. This is ROH in New York City. I am your host, your commentator, and your friend for the time being. This is Giddy Paper 281 from F4J Productions. Let's go to get started, guys. What's going on to all of you? And tonight, we are going to get started with this. The man who's going to be in charge for a while until we get the head honcho down here because he's going to be busy for a little bit. But, ladies and gentlemen, you should know who he is. He's been a part of the franchise since WWE 2K15. It's Baron Blade. What is he going to do? What is he going to say? We'll find out as soon as possible uh, whenever he decides to get in the ring. But what's going on, Silva, Knight, Feck, and Jay, and many more who have just joined up in here? How are you guys doing? So might as well make it BCW, huh? I don't know. He's got some good management skills. Have you seen? Well, I guess not really if he managed a terrible place, but whatever. All right, guys, let's get started. Looks like he's going to grace us with his presence once more. You know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please prepared. welcome uh, let's see what he has to Baron say. Blade. I wonder what he's gonna say. Give that man a mic. There you go. Not uh, showing a lot of respect. See. That's for sure. Okay. There you go. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to ROH, our very first episode. And I want to let you all know one thing right now. We're not some other giant promotion out there in the industry. We are something far greater. We are pure wrestling. And you all will learn that tonight. I talked to every single one of the veterans and everybody else in the back who's a part of this promotion. And they know damn well that no matter where you come from, where you are from, you are not handed down anything. What you get here is because you've earned it. And tonight, we're going to have a cage match. Six men are going to fight for a guaranteed opportunity to fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. So with that being said, I hope you all are anticipated and hyped for it. Because at the end of the night, we'll find out one person who is guaranteed one step closer to being our first world champion. You know, as a matter of fact, one of the most popular superstars in the WWE. No, we got a lot of rookies here too. So, for all those youngsters that are coming out here, you need to put on a show tonight because you never know when it's going to be your last day here. And I better see some respect from all you young punks. I don't know how you did anywhere else, but that ain't. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet. Look who's here at Ring of Honor. It's the former seven-time WWE Champion. It's Quest. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What is he? Oh, he's going to get a mic, too. He's going to talk. Listen up, Baron. I know damn well in that main event you just discussed, I better be in there. You know my resume. You know what I'm all about. I earn every opportunity that I have gained throughout my past. But now that I'm here, I'm looking to be your world heavyweight champion. Definitely no worries, favorite. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You're definitely in that matchup tonight, and so if you win, you will get an opportunity to fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. That will be taking place on Episode 4. But Quest, let me tell you something. You ever, and I mean ever, come out here and disrespect me like that again, you can bet your ass it ain't going to be pretty. Whatever, Baron. See, you're only here because the big guy ain't here today. And when he gets here, you're going to be pretty much irrelevant. You're going to be going around and passing out coffee to everybody else, especially to people like me. But I'm not worried about that tonight. I'm worried about that World Heavyweight Championship matchup. Get it ready. Definitely a fair I'm favorite. ready. 
All right, Quest, sure, no problem. But I'm telling you, you're not going to like who you face off against. The people you go up one-on-one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one -on -one times six, it ain't going to be pretty. That cage match is brutal. It has taken lives. It has taken blood and sweat from numerous wrestlers that are incountable. Can somebody tell this guy where I came from? I don't know about you, Baron. When's the last time you looked at the monitor or any wrestling program? But I was born and raised on the land of extreme. So you can have a cage match. You can have a hell in a cell. You can have anything that you damn near throw at me. And it won't mean nothing. I built extreme. All right, we'll see about that, tough guy. And uh, just be ready, because I can tell you one thing for sure, you'll never be the same again. Oh, what the hell? Quest just popped Baron Blade for whatever reason, and <laughs> what the hell is going on? They're going at it. Now, if I remember right, Quest is supposed to fight for a chance at the World Heavyweight Championship, but he's got a, that's going to be in a cage match, and he's fighting one of the higher up in, in the hierarchy here in, in ROH just like that to start it off. What the hell? And look at this, he's not stopping anytime soon. He's going to have his fun with him. Oh, what a power bomb! Oh, come on, Quest. I, I got to tell you, I know, I know Baron Blaze getting under your skin and all that, but this guy right here. He, uh, he's one of the higher ups. This guy is literally the, one of the individuals who's, who's going to sign your paychecks on a weekly basis. Oh, and he keeps going. We got a referee down here going to try to, yeah, get him out of there. Stop him, ref. This, this is, this is not the way he's supposed to go. And, uh, oh my God. I don't even know how to, how to react to that. Really, this is just a different yeah, look on Quest. But look at this, we guys. We're gonna, we're gonna try to make sure we get orders, oh, uh, you know, placed out everywhere. But let's go ahead and get started here. Our first matchup is going to be Shinsuke Nakamura taking on AJ Smith starting off the night. I can tell you one thing. Shinsuke Nakamura has a very well uh, accomplished and established career throughout the world in Japan and the United States. So, you know, he, being here tonight, being here in this arena, in this atmosphere, it's going to be different. It's going to be a whole new level for him. AJ Smith, on the other hand, we've seen him very glimpsely. And he will pretty much do nothing, really. But tonight, he's going to try to show the world why he is one of the best that professional wrestling has to offer. And again, welcome everybody who stayed along right here. We're going to have a pretty damn good show for you to enjoy. And again, for those of you who just tuned in right now, it's going to be Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Smith. The eclectic I got to tell you, man. There's one move you got to watch out that that man possesses. It's called the Kinshasa. When it connects, you're out cold, counting Z's. Shinsuke Nakamura is ready to go. And you can tell the way that he dances around the ring. He's just feeling himself today. It's going to be good. Here it comes. And there. That's what you were waiting for. He's very flexible to do something like that. You can pull a hamstring doing just something simple like that. I haven't, man, I don't, I don't think I can do that anymore. The last time I did something like that was probably 10 years ago. Maybe a little bit longer. But it, oh, welcome, Charles. You just made it as well. Just in time, too. You gotta wonder who may be. Oh. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 240 pounds, AJ Smith. Here's AJ Smith. He hasn't really done anything too astonishing in his career but I can tell you one thing based off of his skill sets and abilities he can he can put on a good show I believe 
that he is a major player in this promotion. What should we but Shinsuke Nakamura, the, the way that he is, to be in here tonight, man, it is a veteran. He's well skilled. He's disciplined. And, and he's got a lot of experience that can overthrow you in many different ways that you can ever even imagine. We're going to see how AJ Smith draws up a game plan if he hadn't already as he goes in this one. Yeah, he's ready to go. Just look at the excitement going through his body. The facial expression, I can't really tell because he's covered up about 80% of it, but we're going to see how this all unfolds now. There's Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Smith. Let's go ahead and get this started underway. Referee going to go ahead and call for the bell. Let's see what happens. Oh, Smith! Wasting no time. He, I, he messed up a little bit. I don't know what he was trying to do, but it did, he got some of it, but not all. So. Yeah, here comes Shinsuke bringing in those heavy kicks immediately following through. Referee going to look upon him. He wants to stay back. He knows that if, if anything goes blue, it's not going to be good at all. If a missed kick happens and the referee catches it, he's going to be out for the rest of the contest. There's no way he gets up after it. Especially if he incidentally gets hit with like a Kinshasa, for example. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's over. <laughs> we're we're going we're gonna to have a match that goes on forever. Nice clothesline. That time AJ Smith connects. I think that's what he was trying to go for earlier. It was nowhere near the... Near the target. Rebound off the rope. What up, Toxic? Take down. Oh, or he dropped down, but and then he got back up. Hit him with a back elbow right across the chest. Oh man. AJ Smith is going for a submission early on. Camel clutch, and of course Nakamura's like, get that out of here. What are you trying to do? Oh, here it comes. German. AJ Smith has yet to hold any title anywhere in his career, but that doesn't take away from the fact that he's a pretty damn good athlete. The way he's able to, you know, hop up to his feet, he's quick and fast. And I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right here, fast and quick are two different things. I mean, they're similar, but you got to know the definition of both of them. That's when you're fast, muscle, man, you could just you could just do pretty much anything before blink an eye. But when you're quick. That's a whole different game plan, man. When you're quick, you got to be able to think and react at the same time. So it's like That's your body you and your mind are pretty much in sync at the same time. I believe AJ Smith is quick and Shinsuke's fast. But don't get me wrong. AJ is fast, but he's not that fast. He's not fast like Shinsuke fast. Like, oof, man, that's going to be that's a mismatch. So he's going to have to use his quickness to his ability in order to gain an advantage on this matchup. They're both pretty good technical wrestlers, but man, Shinsuke in his strong style, style, it, yeah, his strong style is just too, it's just, oh my god, it's on a whole different level, it's on a different atmosphere, but look at the way AJ's able to keep coming back with those clotheslines, not going to really do too much for him, quick cover, and the referee going to come on in for a pin attempt, count, no, not going to happen. What up, Heaven, how you doing? Just in time for the very first episode to ROH. We got about five matches for you to enjoy tonight. One is right here as AJ Smith and Shisuke score off. At the moment, Smith is currently in control. He's got the yin yang logo on the back. That's pretty cool. And uh, I was wondering, why is he wearing the yin yang? You know, I mean, not why he's wearing the yin yang, but why is he wearing the uh, shirt on? Sometimes, well, to some wrestlers, it gets in the way. So maybe he's comfortable the way he's going. Plus, it's a nice, you know, sure, I wouldn't really want to get that messed up. I would want to keep it safe. Uh-oh, wait a second. Smith, he's looking for something here. What could it be? I don't know. He's setting it up. Cartwheel, Bailey kick. Caught him right on the forehead. He's not looking for the win yet. Hold on. Back up to his feet. And he got him. There's the super kick. Oh, wait a minute. He's not done yet. Straight jacket German. Quick pin. Combo. Two. And he's over. Oh, Two. Referee signals two. That was a near fall. I don't know how Nakamura was able to escape that, but he did. Unbelievable. Uh, Julius, you are on NXT. Welcome back, Toxic. And now let's see what Nakamura has to do. Look, he's been hitting those drop kicks. Single legged all day. 
That's about six or seven, I think. Uh oh, he's got him. And there it is. Reverse exploder suplex. The way he lands is not a, is not comfortable at all. He's gonna be feeling that for at least a week. Here's the hook of the leg, and Shinsuke Nakamura gets a two count, only two. What is he gonna try to do now? Well, we still got that title match is going. It's going to be a little bit. But yeah, next one, you should be booked in there. And here comes Nakamura. He's getting ready, guys. Get ready. It's going to be a big move underway. Oh, wait a minute. What a kick. Right. It was a hill kick right to the temple. And now AJ Smith is all fired up. He's got a spike of adrenaline flowing through his veins, but he's not doing too good on it. He needs it. Yeah, see, you can't be tiny like that. That's a big mistake. Nakamura will not make too many of those as, oh, the night goes on. Look at this. Exposing the turnbuckle. And, oh, wait a second. Smith going for something big. Oh, not going to have a nice counter from Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, referee goes down. Referee is out. Just like that, I called it earlier. He's going to try to... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no way. That, was, uh, that wasn't going to do because, ref again, referee's down. There's no point in, in pinning him. But I said before earlier, uh, the referee was going to try to keep his distance because a missed kick can land on him, and that'll be it. But he's going. He's doing all right now. He's back to his feet. And let's see what Nakamura has to go with here. Referee going to try... He is actually putting that padding back on. There's a stun gun right off the ropes. That's the original stun gun. And it's just as deadly as any other one. Oh, what a nice spinning kick. Caught him right on the jaw. Lateral press. AJ Smith is able to kick out. What up, Michael? How you doing? And Nakamura feeling a little bit frustrated. I don't blame him because he's gone through a, a lot of punishment in this matchup. And he hasn't put it away either of one of his big maneuvers. Oh, he went for the Kinshasa. Diving Kinshasa from the second turnbuckle. Doesn't happen. Up to his feet. Another suit. Oh, he missed the second super kick. But he, he makes sure that he doesn't get back in it. Nice backbreaker right off the knee. Oh, my God. It is not going too good. Referee going to start the count now. A minor miracle what is he going to try to do? To Take him towards the game. corner. He does. Bounce him right off the right off the steel barricade. Referee counts, so you got to be careful. You don't get counted out to oh, ten. Boy, Yo, what other matches? Also, any women's matches? No. Well, Just wondering because exactly. I think this match will take the cake. Yeah, this might actually do it. What up, Chrissy? Probably not on ROH. I don't know what Vazna is. Count of six, You're and AJ Smith gets back in the like ring. That. There you go. Breaks the count. Let's see what he does. He's trying to get Nakamura back up onto his feet again, looking for that cartwheel Pele kick. He's doing it, and he got it again right on the forehead. He's going to hurry up and try to drag. Yeah, he does drag him away. Or more towards the ropes this time. It's because, oh, that's why he's using the ropes as leverage. Referee doesn't see. Nice kick out. Oh, nice body kick and a right hand doesn't happen. There's a left. Nice counter from Nakamura. And he's going for another stun gun, the second one we've seen tonight. Will he cover him? No, he's not. Back up on his feet. He carries him up. And he's going for it. King Shasta! Got him! That might be it. That might put away this match. Two and three. He got him. Shinsuke with the win. I'm telling you, man, that King Shasta is too deadly. All it takes is one to put away the match. And now he's celebrating, arms raised over his head. He's out of here. Thanks for coming. And oh, wait a second. He might have second thoughts. He does. He's back in. And he's continuing the beatdown he's laid upon AJ Smith throughout this contest. Referee needs to try to stop him. Oh, my God. I don't see the point in that. You already beat him. And the next thing you know, he keeps coming back. But regardless, he's rated a four-star match. That's just a horrible note, to, a bad taste to end with. Shinsuke Nakamura showing his true colors. And A.J. Smith, I feel bad for the guy. Singles Took a loss and next. a beatdown. But we guys, coming up next, favorite. in Take our next matchup, it's going to be Hannibal oh, Snyder and quick. Feck West up next. Who's going to take the win? I don't know because I, I'll tell you one thing. Hannibal Snyder is a very experienced competitor. And he's got some, he's definitely got a few matches under his belt internationally, but tonight is a whole new ball game. 
So as well as Feck, you know, he's been pretty good as well. But I don't know, man. It could be a little different here tonight. Hannibal should be a favorite to win. He's, what up, uh, meme? Be nice. I bet Feck will win. Walks up holding the U.S. championship. Is that a fact? All right, guys. Remember, tonight we got ourselves a cage match. Six individuals will be fighting, and the winner will get a guaranteed shot for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I will let you all know what that... Oh, I'll let you know right now, actually. In that matchup is going to be Quest, TJP, Ali, Metalik, Apollo, Hades, and Atami. A little later on tonight. And there he is, a very deviated competitor and a very dangerous wrestler. Hannibal Snyder, guys, the way he looks. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. That was very unique. It happened so quick I didn't even get it. <laughs> wow, that, that was different. All right. Hannibal Snyder displaying his, well, athleticism and agility. That athleticism and agility is ridiculous, man. Don't even know how he was able to... Here's Feck. I uh, don't know what to expect from him. He's held, yeah, he's held a championship in his career. Singles title, not that long, but he held it for a little bit. His opponent, however, Hannibal, he's held a few titles as well. He held a little bit more. It could just about be an even matchup, but of what course, Hannibal Snyder with a little bit more experience under the table. And uh, I honestly think that it could be a little more to the favor of Hannibal tonight. But if you can't count out Feck. Oh, yeah, look, he's all, he's all amped up. I don't blame him. He's here on ROH. Ring of Honor is the place to be. Yeah, there you go. Just get that cereal bowl rolling. Keep spinning it. Make sure you got milk all over it. Make sure at least, uh, make sure it's all drenched in there. He's going to be eating tonight, he claims. So, all right, let's see what happens. And here we go. Match is now officially underway. Hannibal Snyder wasting no time with a bulldog. Damn, Feck doesn't look too good. He just walked into a bulldog, and yeah, it ain't uh, it ain't going in his direction early on. So there we go. He's gonna try to get something go. Oh, damn, that happened. Multiple punches off the Luthes, and it looks like it won't really go too well for him. It looks like he's overwhelmed early on, and Hannibal Snyder waiting for him to get back up to his feet, just like that he does. And blue thunder bomb for the win. He got him. Well then, this singles match is over. That was rather fast. I have no words for it. But um, yeah, Hannibal Snyder, guys, with the win. Blue thunder bomb. Look at that one more time. And that's all you get to see because it was over just like that. Here is your winner, Hannibal. Congratulations to Hannibal no making quick work of Feck. It was like a blink of an eye. I, I, wow, that was very fast. But, I, uh, all right, I guess we'll just get ready for the next match. I have nothing else to say, so, yeah, good win. Very good win.
And three and a half. Okay, so didn't beat out the first matchup, but it came close. All right, next match, guys. Let's see what happens. It's going to be PJ versus Shelton Benjamin. All right. That's not too bad. Let's see how this goes. PJ, I, he's a rookie, so we don't know anything about him completely. But you should know about Shelton Benjamin because of his resume and where he's competed at. He's been to New Japan. He's been to uh, he's been to excuse me the United States. He's been just about anywhere and everywhere internationally and places you can be. As far as PJ though, again, I don't really know what to say about him. I know nothing on him. So this could be uh, rather different. Let's see what happens. Is PJ a lone wolf? And Probably. Oh, okay. So that's interesting. Primetime PJ, huh? So I wonder what PJ stands for. I thought maybe primetime was what P stood Take for, and then the J. I don't even know what that would be. But, but so okay, so it's primetime PJ. We'll, we'll never know what the initials well are until the day he wants to tell us. But we'll see how it goes, man. He's got Shelton Benjamin up next in singles action. How will this young wrestler do? It seems like he's just out here trying to make the best of it. Despite what Byron Saxon said about him in the past, Shelton Benjamin is a true legend and he's ready for action. The gold standard in WWE. And from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. I'm going to tell you right here, Shelton Benjamin is one of this the most gifted athletes to ever lace up a pair of boots. When you see this guy perform, none other than this guy can do what he does. I've never seen anybody that can do things like that because, man, I'm telling you, bro, when you see him perform, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You do not want to miss it. And if you do, you're going to be regretting it later, kicking yourself, wishing that you have gone. Or right, let's see how this goes. PJ and Shelton Benjamin going right at it. Oh, and PJ, nice head, nice head kick too. Well, he spun around, caught him with the heel on the chin, right on the chin. Oh man, this is going to be trying to rip his arms off. Damn, not supposed to go that way. Holy smokes! And oh, Benjamin catches him. Nice leg drag, sends him flying. And there's a stiff kick right to the chest. I want to see something. I want to see Benjamin do something amazing. I want to see it happen. Oh, man. There's a leg drop right to the right arm. So it's not going to really do too much for him. And he's, he's kind of hurt already enough. He's, he's going to keep going, though. I mean, why not? The match only just began, so you got to stay on him as long as possible until he can do something about it. Drag away from the ropes just a little bit. He's got that arm again. Oh, look at that. Damn. What a monkey flip. And he's still not there. Look at it. He's still going right after that arm. Damn. You might want to be careful because it looks like it could be bruised already. And it might be, oh, yeah, it might be sore for a couple of weeks if he cannot do anything about that. There you go. European uppercut saying, you know what? My arms are just fine. Not a problem. Lateral press. Not even not even a count. Referee, was just, he just got on his knees and then got right back up. Sends him to the corner. Uh-oh. And... Oh! What a reverse Frankensteiner! Shelton gets out of there. He realizes he's in trouble. And he takes advantage. PJ tries to taunt and it comes back to haunt him. It bites him right back on the rear end. Oh, PJ fights out of it. Here's a couple elbows. And a third. Quite a few of them. Hits a forearm smash. Has him stunned against the corner. And he rams him shoulder first into the ring post. Oh man, that's ugly. He's stomping away now. Stomping away at Benjamin. Benjamin catches him with the chop block. Man, he could turn it. And ACL, if the, if he executes it properly, he didn't there. He just tripped him up a little bit. Still very uh, unique. Another monkey flip. And Benjamin, you can see that he is all excited. It's like he ignited a fire. 
A burning Look fire. Only perhaps. one. Yeah, I seem to be just testing the waters a bit. PJ, there. he's gonna have to try to do something now because this match, the way it's going, it, it might not last any longer. Here we go. Bouncing his head right off the turnbuckle numerous times. It was about, what, ten times maybe more? I don't know. I, I lost count. It was in the double digits for sure. And oh, what a super kick. Shelton Benjamin looks to put it away just like that. Two, and that's all he gets. He can't believe it. Well, I kind of can. Like, you know, that was, the, I mean, he's a pretty, he's a, well, not, re not really, I guess, because I don't really know too much about him. Back onto his face, nice leg sweep. But as PJ got in mind, sits him up, working on that neck now, trying to rip it off. No love loss here. We're about the halfway point already for the first episode of Ring of Honor. There's a big elbow right to the forehead. And Shelton. Oh, with the pay dirt. That might be enough. Is he going to get him here? He will. Shelton Benjamin with the win. What the heck? i got to tell you, man, these youngsters are having a rough time against these veterans. It's been one-sided all day long. But Shelton Benjamin just proves to the world why he is one of the best wrestling has to offer. Offering a handshake, and will the young man? He will. The young man will shake, giving his most gratitude and honorable respect to that man on the left. Good game, good game. But now it's time for our uh, co-main event here tonight at ROH. It's going to be Daniel Ryan and Chris Jericho right now. Who do you guys think is going to win? Who do you have favored? I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Because in my opinion, I believe that... Uh... Yeah, probably Jericho. I shoot with Jericho on this one. This guy has competed forever. He's, he's, <laughs> he's been a part of a lot of promotions, countless promotions. So I, I'd say he's got a real good chance of winning, especially with the experience he has. Daniel Ryan, this is going to be his first match ever, just like uh, PJ just had. So, yeah, that, that might just give Jericho enough edge to walk away with the win. on a good diet how do you look like that and only weigh 208 pounds holy moly that's crazy that is seriously crazy I, I need to know his diet I need to copy that and try it out see how it goes damn guys Daniel Ryan 208 pounds and he looks like a Ladies freaking bum. He looks big. One -on -one action. He and might. He doesn't. Well, I don't like know. Damn, man, he's, he's tall. He's match. not that tall, but he's he's pretty tall. Was he like six two, six three ish? To me, that's tall. But I know tall to some people is six five and up. Yeah, this guy, like, man, this guy right here looks like a. He looks like the next generation of uh, what wrestling could possibly be. What a way to show off. Daniel Ryan, ladies and gentlemen, making his professional wrestling debut here at Ring of Honor. The legendary Y2J. There he is, guys. And from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. A lot of people refer to him as the GOAT because of what he has done throughout his career. 
He's fought in the two biggest giants promotion status ever. He's fought ind independently on the market, and tonight he's at ROH. What will he do? I have no clue, but I can tell you it's going to be amazing. You're not going to want to miss it. This man right here has won countless world championships throughout his career. And Daniel Ryan, I don't think he has any idea what he's going up against, so he better be on his A game, otherwise this could be quick, just like the last two matches we had here. What up, Ruloff? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. You're here for the co-main event as Jericho and Ryan go one-on-one. -on -one. And it looks like they're ready for action. Referee is ready to ring that bell. Daniel making sure he's in position. Chris as well. All right, let's get this damn thing started. What's going to happen? We've had the last two matches end rather quickly. Combined for about, let me see, it was about maybe 10 minutes that the last two matches lasted for. The first match of the two was about a minute. The other one was about nine minutes. And that's about pretty much all you need to know. Daniel Ryan comes in here. Oh, displaying pure strength alone. Trying to get in this contest. And Jericho pushes him off. Runs into a neck breaker right off the knee. And Daniel, man, he's like, oh, yeah, what's up, man? I got you right where I want you now. Uh, no, not tonight. And, oh, he, oh, he tried to go for something. That didn't work out. Jericho with an enziguri. Caught him right on the head, right in the temple. And he catches Jericho, knees him a couple of times into the gut. Working on that left arm now. That is very interesting. Doesn't get a, he doesn't get any count. Came close though. Back up to his feet. Another enziguri. Jericho has used that quite a bit. Came into this match expecting a fight. That's exactly what he's getting. Hey, you're gonna absorb some punishment because of something about a journalist dying. I think. He knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned. I believe so. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he that was about it. I don't know tonight. the whole story of the controversy sure for Saudi Arabia. But I can tell you, Daniel Ryan is in control. He's got a nice headlock in. And Jericho has nowhere to go. He's just, he's just stiff. Daniel decides to let him go. Oh, what a nice counter. Chris saw him coming and, and just acted on a reflex. Oh, what is this? DDT! Beautifully well executed. Trying to get him on his feet. No, not yet. He's got something going on right now. What is that going to do? Looks like he's got it applied Just slams him aside. And Jericho, man, look at that pain. He's giving no respect to the young guy. But Jericho's always been like that, though. If, you, if, you're, if you're brand new to the whole wrestling scene, you're not going to get any love. Jericho's not going to hold your hand and try to help you get better at, at this, you know? Because you're trying to potentially take his job. He's trying to show everybody why Jericho is the best in the world at what he does. And if he helps you get better at any, at, like at all, even if it's just a, a pinch of help, that's helping you get one step closer to passing him up and then taking his role as the best in the company. That's the last thing he, he wants to have happen. Hell, Jericho has some, he has a lot of years left over. He could probably win a few more world championships if he wanted to. And if he was careful enough, Daniel Ryan, Jericho knows about Daniel Ryan. He may, he might, he may not know about what he can put, put on the table wrestling wise, but he knows he's young. He knows he's making his debut overall here tonight. And not only that, but he's hungry. Oh, wait a second. Daniel Ryan is using the walls on Jer uh, Jericho on Chris Jericho. Does that make any sense? Well, that does, because he got out of it in like 10 seconds. You're going to try to beat Chris with his own move? I doubt it. That's the last thing that's going to happen. And Chris is like, <laughs> I'm going to show you how it's really done. Flip him onto his belly. Does he get him locked? Yes, he does. Walls of Jericho. Daniel Ryan trying to get to the ropes, and this time he gets out of it. Chris is like, let me out of there. I don't know. The, the, hey, Daniel Ryan's doing some good mind games. He's doing really good right now. 
Jericho back onto his feet, trying to catch with the right hand, doesn't happen. Chris gets him up onto his shoulders, and what is he trying to do here? Oh, he slams him on the apron. Hardest part of the ring, face and body first. You know, that doesn't feel comfortable at all. And Jericho's continuing the assault here. What is this? Oh, never mind, nice counter from Daniel Bryan. And an Enziguri of his own, the first we've seen of his stature. Count of six. This will go and continue back in the ring. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems. And what is Daniel Ryan trying to do here? He's trying to set him up onto his feet. He does. What a spear! Slings back and oh! Referee calls it off. He says his hand. Jericho's left hand was underneath the bottom rope. So he's going to have to break it up and start it again. Daniel Ryan looking for a comeback. He's got a couple of clotheslines that pay off. And he catches him. Sweeps him by his leg. And he's out. Daniel Ryan raising his arms in victory as if this match is already over. If he wins, this would be an upset. This may be one of the greatest wrestling upsets of all time. Uh-oh. What, what's he doing here? He's got a head scissors locked in and he dro drove his face into the canvas. Not sure what that's going to... Oh, Jericho kicks him off. Jericho went for... Uh, did he go for a code breaker? It was so quick, I don't even know. If he might have gone for the code breaker and it didn't pay off for him. And Ryan looks again to try to put this match away. These superstars have tried everything. What is he doing? He's got a straight jacket DDT. That's it. This match is over with. Ryan's going to take the win. DR, call him the doctor for shorts. We'll get the near fall. That's all he is. So now, Chris Jericho has suffered two sigs and two fins from DR. How? Because... For one reason, the back of his trunks, goat. All you need to know. And again, he drove his face right into the mat. Looking for the win here. Hooks the leg inside. And he will get up to a two count. That's it. Chris is going to continue to strive here tonight. He will not allow himself to go out that easy. And Ryan's looking to fly. Trying to show off a little something here. Nobody home. He went for the diving elbow. Roll him up. He can get him here. One, two, and he got him. The rookie just got him. Oh, man, he had it all in control. And Jericho gets out of the way of a diving elbow, rolls him up, and secures the win. The veteran experience from Jericho shocks Daniel Ryan's Ruthless aggression. Hey, man, that, that reminds me a little something else there when a veteran knocked off somebody who had a little, a little too much ruthless aggression. But that was an odd amount of years ago. And we've seen something similar like that here tonight. Daniel Ryan, guys, even though he did lose, I can tell you he's got a very bright future here in Ring of Honor. What a match. And I hope we get to see it again. I don't think we are, but that was pretty cool. How Jericho just shows off, shows to the youngster how it was done around here. Here is your winner, Chris Jericho. Talk about having to dig down and look at Jericho's like saying, hey, sorry kid, I got you. Uh, what can I say? I've been doing this for, for a long time. I know what I'm doing by now. Ryan's in disbelief. I don't blame him, but at the same time. You just got to be more well prepared. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on to this main event cage match. TJP, Apollo, Mustafa Ali, Grand Metalik, Hades, and Quest. All look to get a win here tonight. Again, the winner will get a guaranteed opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. Whoever walks out with the win here tonight. Who will get the job done? I have no idea because in this matchup, every person gets less than a 20% chance. That's less. So that, we're looking about the range of 15 to 17% per person. And plus a little bit of extra decimal at the end added all the way up to 100. But anyways, yeah, it's not that really good of a chance. It's almost as... Uh, well, yeah, I guess it's a little bit better than trying to win the lottery. But it, it's still pretty bad in this situation. So if you're going to win this cage match... Uh, let's just say you're going to have to try to preserve as much energy as possible. You're going to have to try to pick and choose your moments. And, uh, and hey, guess what? If you're, an old, if, you can, if you're an opportunist, you should have a good night. If not, you might, ha you might be in for a long day, for a long night. Let's get this main event underway, guys. Oh, look who's here! I can barely contain my excitement. 
making his way to the ring. Hey. Angeles, weighing in at 175 pounds, TJP. I can tell you, man, I love watching this guy wrestle, dude, more than anything in the world. This guy has been to two places, and he's he was pretty damn good. But I'll tell you one thing, tonight could be magical for him. He's just got to make sure he doesn't commit career suicide in this one. He'll be fine. Stop reposting compliments on social media. It's a problem. Let's see what TJP can do here. He's got to perk his way to victory. Put the guns away. I'm saving for now. Pretty interesting night for ROH today. First episode, too. Worldwide! Here's a poem! And his opponent, first, from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 241 pounds. 200 and... Wow. That... Okay. He kind of full. I thought he was like in the 215, 220, 241? Speed, Man, hey guys, agility, I can tell you one thing. That guy right there, he's the got the body of Bobby Lashley. He's got the athleticism of uh, Shelton Benjamin. He's got the face of Dwayne Brady. Like that guy is like a total package right there. If you don't know who Dwayne Brady is, then I'm, you got to go watch Let's Make a Deal. It's pretty funny. But yeah, he's, uh, let's just say he's very gifted. Very gifted. And he has just as much of a chance to win this match just like anybody else. Mustafa Ali. He's pretty good. One of the most High flyer. Competitors in very all quick and fast. Under 200 pounds. He's, he, he's going to surprise a lot of people, offense. believe it or not. I think he... I, I would say he's the underdog. Yeah, he's the underdog. He's the underdog. No, that would be Grandma Malik. He's the dark He's the dark horse. Yeah, there you go. Mustafa Ali's the dark horse. You ready for a lucha ass party? Yeah, I am. Debuted at 16 years old. And from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Grand Metalik. Grand Metalik is just something else. Byron, you know what? He's a good luchador, and he can he can do some high flying oh, maneuvers too, not like Mustafa. And he's not the fast. He's not. Okay, you know what? He's pretty much the underdog. Okay. He's not as fast as the other guys. He's not as strong. He's not as quick. But he can. He can pull off a couple of moves that could probably make you make you wonder. I don't know if he'll win. I I I highly doubt he will. This is new. Well, anyways, here comes huh? sure. Hades. Also a bit crazy and yeah, he's making his ROH debut. Like this a few he's been accomplished. Yeah, he's, he's very accomplished. He's held a few world championships in his career. So, you know, he's very eligible here tonight. And I think we're waiting for the... I think, yeah, one last guy should cover the rest. This looks disturbing. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top wow. names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael. What do I even say about like that? Always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. They call him whoa. They call him the King of Black Hearts. 
He's the disturbed one. It's Quest. This is a whole new look for him. I've never seen him act this deranged ever. But all right, guys, we're going to get that cage lowered down. Here and there we go. Still, we're, we're ready for action. A packed ring and a cage to stay in a bow. So guess what? Nobody's going anywhere. If you're leaving, yeah, I don't know how you're going to get out. Unless you get thrown through that damn cage, then yeah, probably. But no, who, who's going to try to do that? Because I have no freaking clue. Well, right now we got about a third of the match outside the ring, which doesn't matter. Okay, now half, more than half of it. Only a third now is in the ring. That's all that really does matter. You can only get the pinfall and the submission inside. Is Hades and Apollo going at it at the moment. And yeah, that's just pretty much how we're going on and about. And Apollo going after Hades now. Going to get some offense going. Throw him to the turnbuckle. Oh, man, he threw enough power to launch him down. Back first. And then he fell, fell face first into the mat. Apollo catching him on his legs. Going for a cover. Will anybody be able to stop him? One. And that's all he gets. Quest and Grand Malik going at it. Mustafa Ali, TJP going at it. They're outside the ring as well. They're all pretty much right around each other. And again, Apollo and Hades is the only action you need to be concerned about because whatever happens in there is what's going to be officiated. Rebound off the ropes, and what could Hades do here? Nothing. He just bounced into a brick. Oh, knife edge chop doesn't do anything. DDT. Nice combo. He had a little, nice little knife edge chop, kick, and oh, wait a minute. Roll up, roll up. Is he going to get him? No. Not even close, he gets out of that. There goes Apollo with the takedown, multiple hammer fists. He's guarding his face still, trying to make sure he takes less damage as possible. Up onto his feet, there's a right hand, nobody home. Apollo says get that out of here. Stuns him against the ropes. Right hand, followed by another, and a third. Four in a row, knocks him down again. And again, guys, in case you just got here, the winner of this match will get a future opportunity by episode number four for the World Heavyweight Championship. Although the card is subject to change, just to let you know right now. Here's a quick cover, and it gets a one count. Mustafa breaks it up, realizes what's going on. Catches Apollo with a right hand, followed by a forearm, followed by another. And a back elbow, caught him on the chin. And Cruz tosses him, says, get that out of here. Hades said, I didn't forget about you, but you can leave now if you want. Is he going to continue to go after Apollo? Yep, it looks like he might. And Mustafa and Apollo are going at it right now. It looks like they're going to double team him for a bit. Quest for the win gets a one. It was, it was hard to see in here, but he got a one count. And TJP realizes whatever Quest is doing, it's, it's trying to be all cute, whatever. Hits him with a drop kick. Grand Metal League just trying to stalk around. It's like a vulture waiting for his prey. Uh oh. Oh, TJP was looking for that chicken wing gut buster. Didn't happen. Mustafa Ali looking to fly. Apollo's in trouble if he hits, if he gets hit with this. Get ready for it. Zero five four. That's the reverse 450 splash. He might get him here. And Grand Metal League saves it. Damn, that might have been it too. Ali with the submission. Trying to rip that arm out of its socket. Gets him out of... Oh, nice. I don't even know what to call that, but he got him pretty good. Four superstars in the ring. Make it three, only half. Now it's only two. Now it's only one. And they're all looking for a brawl. Oh, never mind. Hades is back in there. He got dumped in, though. Now we got half. Oh, everybody's just kind of doing a ring around the Rosie. Oh, there we go. Everybody's back in there. Still packed. Apollo. Getting ready. Looking to hit TJP with this spinny sit up power bomb coming right on up. That could do it. Future shock. Cover. Quest doesn't get it. Apollo should pin TJP. Mustafa Ali might be doing that right now. He's trying to be the ultimate opportunist in this one. He's trying to get there. And he can't. Oh, but he pins Middle League though. 
Two and a kick out. Middleek doesn't get saved, so he kicks out on his own. Who's going to be a future world champion? It could be one of these guys, maybe, depending on who they fight on episode four. Oh, nice from Middleek. Quest and Apollo fighting on the outside doesn't matter again. All that happens with inside is how they count. He's got him up. And he's going for a cyclone. He got it. TJP looking for something big. It's going to be the detonation kick. That could be enough. Try to take your head. He doesn't happen, though. He stops him. Somebody should pin Mustafa. He is out. What a cutter. Cover. Then that's a one count. That's all he gets. Can you believe this? Man. Doesn't look pretty. Oh. What a nice side slam up the full Nelson. Two. And oh, Ali kicks out. Two and a half. Dragon Sleeper. And Haiti saves it. Middle League. With a, with a nice driver. And of course, Quest goes in to save it. He gets called the neck breaker, though. He's out of here. What a dab. Maybe the best dab we've seen all day. Well, I think it's the only one, too. So I guess it is the best one I've seen all day. Whatever. TJP and Quest going at it right on the outside. Bottom right corner, you can see. Dumps him aside. Oh, he kind of hit his head right on the steel uh, cage. Man. What up, uh, Chrissy? Metal League and Apollo, the other one's in the ring. Now it's TJP joining the fun. What an enziguri. Now Quest gets in there. Apollo gets rid of him for the time being. Who's going to get up first? Whoever gets up first is not going to like the view. It's going to be Metal League. Here it is. Spinning sit up. Powerbomb coming right on up. Oh, and he got him. That could do it. He needs to pin him now. Oh, what a knee! Caught him on the chin! That could be enough! TJP! Near fall! Wow, going for another pin. Hooks the leg, and no, that's not going to happen. At all. Alright, hold on. About time. Oh, there goes TJP. Apollo's out of there. Grandma the leak has his eyes set on Hades. Now Quest does. Uh oh, what is what is Metal League trying to do? He's looking to fly. Is it going to pay off? He decides against it. He realizes the ring is more important because there could have been a pinfall. What is he going to do here? Quest sets him up onto his shoulders. He's got him up in the fireman's carry form. And it's a go to sleep GTS. As I said on Apollo. Oh, what a diving elbow off the springboard. Is he going to pin him? No. Metal League decides to break up the submission. Wise move. I don't know what he tried to do there, but it didn't work. Metal League gets him on his shoulders. Metal League driver. That could be enough. He's got to pin him first. Don't hurry. He does. One. And that's all he gets. TJP dumping Metal League out the ring. He said, yep, he needs to get him out of there. Oh! Back first off the steal. That is ugly. Hades with the power bomb and the pin. One, two, kick out. Submission. Locked in. And it's saved again. What is Apollo doing? Samoan drop. Multiple punches right to the forehead. Apollo taunts. Not a good idea. He gets out of here. We're down to who does Hades want? Hades wants nobody. He's going to leave the ring alone. Ali and Metal League are the only ones that are pretty much in the ring. Well, somewhat. No surprise that how exciting this match has been. This is the kind Quest of and Hades going at it. Oh, dumps him again in into the, the steel. Throws him aside. Yeah, he fell down. Walked to nowhere. Ali realizes something. He gets out the ring. I have no idea what the point in that is. Now everybody's back in there. He could have taken advantage of the, uh, whatever. Nice shooting star. Standing shooting star. And Apollo. Ooh, that'll definitely hurt. Cruz looking to get it. Quest trying to do something. Didn't work out. And Apollo with the spinny sit up power bomb about to happen. Here it comes. He got it. And the immediate cover. One, two, 
He got it. Apollo Crews with the win, guys. He's going to get an opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. And nobody, okay, Ali was the only person that had a chance to stop him, but he missed, and he hurt himself in the process like an idiot, and this match is over with. So is our show. Wow, that was just a little bit of a disappointment, really, but hey, guess what, Apollo don't care. He knows that he's going to get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Will he win it? Will he be the first one? I guess we'll have to wait and see when the time comes. But nonetheless, Apollo Crews is your winner, and yeah, he's ready to go, man. He is ready for his next opponent. Doesn't matter who it is, when it is, he's ready for it. Congratulations to Apollo Crews on the victory again, and good luck to you, man, whoever you go up against for the World Heavyweight Championship. And guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we're going to see you all in the next one. But until the next one, have a great one. But for now, that's it, so cut, and that's a wrap.